Hey Rovers. Well, in this video, I want to take a look at the different types of junk rig sails that were at the junket. So we had my sail, which is a flat cut junk rig sail. We had cambered sails such as Kokachin and Terrapin. And then on Turtle, we had a split rig junk rig sail. So we'll, we'll evaluate how each performed in those light airs where we were sailing. Give us a wave! Awesome. Terrific. We've got Wave Rover, Turtle, and Kokachin in the background. Well, first off, let me just explain the difference between a flat cut sail and a cambered sail. So in this photo, you can see Wave Rover, which is on the left side of the screen with the uh, sail, a lot of light is coming through the sail and that's because it's a Dacron, but the sail is really flat and you can really see that in these light winds. There's practically no wind blowing. And I'm right beside Kokachin. Now Kokachin's sail, you can see, has this sagginess about it between the battens. And that is the camber. So it's designed to fill out, that bagginess will fill out when the wind starts blowing. Now one of the big differences between Coca Chin's battens and Wave Rover's battens, Wave Rover's battens are made from ash and they, like any wood, they naturally will have a certain amount of flex in them. Not a lot, but a certain amount which prevents them from bending and breaking. Um, under stress, whereas Kokachin or any cambered sail has to have a very rigid batten. So it's usually a fairly heavy piece of aluminum pipe, and that is designed to take the load and not bend, because if it bends, it destroys the built-in camber that exists between the battens. So that's, that's one of the basic differences between the two. We are going to windward right now. And there's just enough breeze just to get a little bit of draw on these sails. So these sails are cambered and then it looks like they're flat at the fan section, which is terrific for these conditions. Now the proponents of cambered sails often say that flat cut sails lack the horsepower, if you will, of the cambered sails. But that's never really been a problem for Wave Rover. In fact, if you've been watching my videos, you'll see that most of the time I'm reefed and quite often I'm fully reefed when the winds are over about 25 knots because we designed the boat and the sail together and the sail, well, the sail is of a size that when the wind is blowing, let's say 10 knots or less, I'll have the full sail up. But after that, I have to start dropping panels. So the sail has been sized for Wave Rover and I do not lack horsepower because it's a flat cut sail. That's, uh, I'd have to say that's a bit of a myth. And the other property that the cambered sail, and in particular the split rig of Turtle, that's the light gray junk rig, um, they're purported to have better windward performance than a flat cut sail. And I think that is probably an accurate statement. However, your hull shape and the lightness of the boat and the lightness of the wind will all be other factors that will play into that. And by that I mean after the wind increases, let's say, to 10 knots or more, uh, Wave Rover with her flat cut sail will perform probably as well, if not 
better than some of these other boats. And like I said, there are other variables other than the sail that lead to that. However, during the day as we sailed in these really light winds, which were five knots or less, and that was actually the first time Wave Rover was sailing in such light conditions. I'd have to say that Wave Rover held her own, and perhaps uh, Kokachin and uh, Kokachin performed uh, better to windward, but over a period of, let's say, 10 miles, that might have been just a few minutes advantage. So it wasn't huge. It wasn't as though Wave Rover was left in the dust, uh, far from it. And I think in closing, if the, the only true test that we could see would be if Wave Rover had a cambered sail compared to Wave Rover with a flat cut sail. And I dare say Wave Rover with the cambered sail would have performed even better to windward and even better in those light conditions. However, am I happy with my flat cut sail? Well, you better believe I am. It was simple to build. It was inexpensive to build, it's easy to repair, and in most of the winds I'm going to be in, which would be over 10 knots, I'll be just flying along pretty much at any point to sail, and it's never a lack of horsepower I have. So, in short, will I be taking Wave Rover with her flat-cut sail across the Atlantic this summer? Very happy to do it, very confident in the sale that I have, and, and very confident in Wave Rover. There will be more on that upcoming trip uh, later uh, in the next couple of episodes as I refine the schedule, but it will be this summer, and it will be coming up quick.